All right, hey guys, welcome back to part 50 of Let's Play the Duke of King of Aragon Gascon. Uh, where we had last left off, I don't remember what we were doing. Uh, we're in a war helping out England, uh, but I'm done helping him, so he's going to go ahead and lose because I don't care. Uh, he's pressing this guy's claim. Oh yeah, I tried to kill this guy already. He's going to see, like, hey, maybe we could murder the claimant. But if I'm not mistaken, he is beloved by all. Yep. So good, he'll make a better king. I don't even care. Okay. Uh, other than that, we are at war with, uh, we're helping the Queen of Aquitaine, who is my niece, but not of my dynasty. Uh, we're helping her to defend against, uh, a civil war to lower crown authority, and, uh, Talisa's war for Aquitaine. Which is unfortunate, because that means I can't declare war on this guy. Because I'm already at war with him. So lame. Oh, he's excommunicated? So he, okay, so he is, uh, he, and there's so many Carlings. So anyway, we're not really going to mess with France uh, anymore. Uh, they can deal with their own stuff. We now are cooled down, uh, or no, we have, uh, this guy's father died. And so he's new, and as such, can be declared war on. Um, probably going to try to take Fez, but first, before we do that, we're going to make sure he's got, you know, an ally, but nobody important. And... His manpower is currently 9,000 men. We've got 8,000 in our retinue. I think we're going to be okay. So, uh, without further ado, we will let time start ticking. Uh, oh yeah, we're going to let our vassals cool down there. Pretty good, though. I think we can go ahead and declare without, you know, having too many issues. Uh, so we can take Fez. We can take Marrakesh. I think uh, we'll have better luck keeping Fez for the time being. Okay, and we'll march these guys here. We're going to raise up our men. March them. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, you guys can come to Tarragona. And then we will raise up a few of our Duke's levies. Nobody's, nobody's overly pissed at us, which is good. Uh, you guys can march down to here. Tangier should have some guys by now. Yep. You. And you. And your you you you. Oh, your little girl. Nah, those can stay down. I don't think we're gonna need so many men. Sixteen grand should. Man, that guy is way too powerful for his own good. But he should die soon, and his heirs. We'll take over. Let's actually look at him real quick. Yeah, he's uh 56. Oh wait, no. Where's my double? Where'd the double duke go? Uh, do 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 do. That's not what I want. Direct vassals. Oh yeah. Okay. So this guy has all this stuff. Back. Oh, okay. So he got yeah the other duchy got gone, but he still controls. A ton of counties. Uh, does he have sons? One, two, three, four sons. Beautiful. And he's still under gavel kind? Yeah, okay, so his counties will get split up and that'll be taken care of. Uh, his power base will disintegrate just a little bit. Uh, since we're taking Fez, we'll take these guys here. And let's go. Let's take uh, these 3,000 here. Now here. Here, no there. Here, here. Okay. Actually, we'll just take everybody, and then we'll split them once they're where they need to be. Actually, you know what? Group these guys up. Start marching them here. They have no morale. Get back on the boat so you don't suffer attrition. Uh, this is my heir. Honesty be three more diplomacy at the cost of two intrigue. That'll bring his intrigue down to zero. But man, it'll give him 21 diplomacy without... My god, this kid's a diplomatic powerhouse. If he gets gray eminence, he'll be at 28, 28 diplomacy. Um, king. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay, not related. That's fine. I was like, did he get one of my counties somehow? Because that's not cool. Uh, what, what are we looking for? Court chaplain. Uh, this guy wants to be, and he's zealous. I like it. 
Um, religion map mode. We are slowly but surely. Actually, you know what? This might be more useful. Nah, it's converting fine. Let's get Spain converted. Can you go to Badajoz? Okay, and back to things happening. All right, let's keep a look on our army here. As soon as they get some uh, some morale, that's fine. I don't even know how he managed to get Ireland. In fact, you know what? You can come over here. You guys don't have leaders, but you will soon. Inspiring leader, defense, and uh, throw the strong guy in there. Of course. We'll follow them in and then we'll uh, split up, split our guys up. Very good. Okay, we'll leave behind. Uh, that should be plenty. Take this 15,000. I'm we'll just keep chasing his army down until he's dead. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, that ended in a white piece, really. Interesting. Arabian Empire has a limited crown authority. Let's move these guys here. Finish this war. Uh, county? No, we'll let that go. Captured somebody completely worthless. Just gonna keep chasing them around. Good. Oh, so yeah, I mean, I really want to continue uh, expanding into, into Asturian territory, but that's not going super well at the moment. Uh, we don't have claims on anything, really. Uh, this is my other son, who I'm pretty sure... I have two areas. Okay, so this kid uh, is becoming the steward. We're going to go ahead and educate him with Midas Touched Norse. Uh, he's a very small chance he'll become Greek. Um, this lady looks fine with this lady and then we'll educate our next genius boy there we go so we are at 24% uh, war score thus far uh, as soon as these sieges start happening though we're gonna be fine stupid vikings go away uh, right he's gonna be charitable as well just like his brother man these kids disease all over the place of course uh, we're gonna start losing ticking war scores we don't have any uh, we haven't actually taken any of the of the target land yet but uh, when these 10,000 uh, finish sieging here I'm gonna pop them on the boat and kill this army and uh, that should be a pretty good pretty big jump in war score as he has no he doesn't have very many men uh, and hopefully that'll lead to some collapse. If anybody breaks away, we can try to sneak in and grab some more stuff. Ah, oh, this is the best kid ever. My goodness, look at him. Off to the dungeons. Off to the dungeons, off to the dungeons. We're just gonna, you know, capture everybody in his court. That'll be fun. So many pop-ups. Uh, oh, oblit. If they ask, that's where they're going. I'm not... Bastards. Man, none of these guys have, like, any use to me whatsoever. We're at 70%. Let's just keep sieging. Vassals are not pissed. That's okay. That's good. Chop, chop, chop. Sieges, sieges. Aquitanian. That was good. Oh, good. So we, we won't even need to kill the rest of his army, but we might just do it for fun. Because we can. And I want to. Yeah, these guys don't have any leaders. Let's give them... Uh, we can't give them the good leaders on the boats. Um, yeah, whatever. It should be f 20. Man, we got some good characters floating around our realm. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I really hope that I... 
Well, A, I didn't set my timer, and B, I didn't, I'm pretty sure I turned the volume to where it's supposed to be. This might be a really horrible sound episode, but I hope not. Well, that was my oldest son, just came of age. Became a fortune builder. I have unlanded sons. I will deal with that, uh, shortly. He's gonna go off to marry the most important woman that I can find. Oh, yeah, more tech. Tech, tech, tech. Get on the boats. So we're already at 100%, but I'm gonna go ahead and crush his military for fun. Um, yeah. Okay, hold on. We caught some lady. Victory there, victory there. This is my second son, or my second genius son. Um, wow, he's got. Wow. This kid's gonna be a better heir than my current son. I'm definitely gonna make him honest, though. Uh, well, he didn't lose deceitful or gain honest, so that sucks. My kid might cause trouble. <laughs> Last little battle, it's because I'm being a dick. A little bit. As soon as we crush these 660, then it's on. Alright, good. Uh, you guys get back on the boats. Man, that's a lot of tech. Off of peace. Beautiful. Alright, so a couple things I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is see what he can, who he can marry. Uh, the Duchess of Seville. Duchess of Tyrol, Duchess of Franconia, Duchess of Ast Austria. Uh, they're all kind of... Hmm. Now I might. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna betroth them to this girl, and then give him a bishopric, and then when yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Okay, that's good. So as soon as we hear back from that, we'll we'll take care of some things. Uh, my second oldest son is 14. He's ambitious. Wow. He's gonna be trouble. We're gonna marry him far away. Um, that should be fine. Uh, so let's take a look here. Uh, this is the Duchy of Fez, right? Yeah. Oh, no. It's, okay. It's most of Fez. We're missing a bit, but that's fine. Um, so this should be the best county. Yeah, so we'll give, uh, see, that's a barony, bishopric. So I will give the son two bishoprics to rule, and that'll be fine. So let's do the, so, okay, so yeah, that's fine. Okay, so over here we will create vassals for everything else. Okay, so I've got, yeah, I've got a lot of sons. This one I'm going to ship off, and then this kid we'll worry about when we get there later on. We should hopefully have another um, bishopric to give him by that point. Alright, so firstborn. So wait, did that patrol go through? There we go. Good, okay, and then you are gonna get Bishopric of Sephrau and the Bishopric of here. Good, that's fine. Um, wrong type of holding. Oh, cities, yeah. Um, city of New Vassal. City of New Vassal, and we'll give whoever we give Fez to the uh, two baronies. All right, so we need men who are not imprisoned, who are whatever married, not a ruler. Yes, my religion. Yes, my culture. Highest. Okay, this guy is perfect, and he's heir to something already. Good. Um, Rodrigo. Perfect. Content. Uh, so he shouldn't try to fight himself. You are going to have Fez, and the lower titles. We'll give you a half-decent diplomat who is ambitious. I like to give my vassals a little trouble keeping their land so they don't get too, too uppity against me. Okay, and then we'll also give him a decent military ruler to help him out. have El Arif. Good, good, good. Okay, and we can create so many kingdoms. Create Fez. And we'll 
I'll give it to the guy who is in Fez. Good. Thing of beauty. Look at Aragon. I like it. Alright, so we'll take uh, these men. They can totally stand down. Take these men, drop them here, and move our retinue up to here. Somebody's got to attack this guy for Seville at some point. Okay, and you guys can stand down. Good. All the men are down. Uh, vassals are not too bad, so that's good. Uh, we can create three kingdom titles. Not going to do that yet. Uh, we still should have a... Yeah, truce with this guy. And all we can claim at the moment is one county or this one. Both for the Duke of Castile. Other de jure. Yeah, because he's the Duke. Nice. So, that's cool. We might do that in a bit. And let's, uh, we don't need time to be going so fast. Good. Okay, things are going well. Let's bring it a little faster than that. Um, do I want to go on a hunt? How old's my heir? He's 11. God, his little brother's probably going to be a better heir. I might have to elect this kid later. We'll see when they both come of age. I'm going to avoid the hunts until that point because I don't want to die, pretty much. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Aquitaine is still our niece, who is not of our dynasty. She married uh, the Prince of England, heir to the Duchy of Lancaster. Stupid carlings. Stupid carlings being carlings. Go wealth. She make an alliance with Germany or Lothringia. Oh yeah, the carlings are back in Germany. Interesting. Um, he is already both of these. Oh, and he's possessed. Oh boy. Oh, that's almost too tempting to pass up. But we'll go ahead and do this. That's great. He was already kind and already just. Now we'll see what happens with the second son, with uh, Gomez. Keep an eye on some stuff. Lords of Ireland, medium crown authority. That's fine. I want Astorias to go to... I, I got him under special interest, right? Yeah. My marshal is dead. Because I got only one son who's got no children at all. And so all that all that land is going to go to one guy. That's unfortunate. Uh, we got a count who has a 20. That is a pretty good guy to get. Um, let's make sure he's not leading troops anywhere. And we'll put him up in Navarra to research, research. We've got to be getting close to some tech. We got like a trillion things. Uh, I might get chased or temperate. I would like temperate. All right, in the temperate trait. Excellent. Twenty-seven, twelve to nine versus nine, ten, seven, eleven, six. Yeah, like I said, it's all going to depend on how they how they turn out in the end. Um, tech, tech, tech. That's laws. Tech. All right, so we can do any of these. We can do almost any of these. Which let's do castle infrastructure, so we can get the next level of castle town. Very good. And the next level of legalism does not give me more anything. So I think I might just leave legalism alone for the minute. Majesty's good. Religious customs are definitely good. Uh, over here, the next level of military organization would give me a lot more retinue. Two hundred percent more. Goal of supply limit, morale of armies. I'm only a little bit ahead, so, uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll save for that. Although we have a lot of cavalry. A lot of, uh, siege equipment would be good. All these things are good. But, uh, our enemies are pretty weak. Like, we are stronger than, uh, than just about anybody around us, so... I would prefer to have just a bigger army standing to keep stability in the... Within the realm. Good, you know what I mean? I'm sure you do. Um, I have absolutely no idea how long this video has gone, so it may be a short one, but I'm feeling like it's probably been close to 20 minutes at this point. Um, and maybe I should... Oh, I forgot to have a freaking feast. Awesome. Dragon... Uh, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I need to turn that off. Uh, what claims can we press? Against the Byzantines. And that's it. Um, no, that's okay. Byzantines have been pumping this game, so I don't want to mess with them. Yeah, they've got 96,000 men, which, you know, is scary, but I got 88, so take that. 
So there's Aragon. Uh, yeah, we'll do a quick look around the world, and then we will move along. Uh, the Liberator still lives. He's 80 years old now. He's been maimed since he was like 20. This guy is impressive. Uh, I mean, stats aren't even that great, but... He's got uh, a couple of sons. These guys have, must have kids by now, yeah, so... Uh, inheritance is going to become interesting, so good luck to him. Uh, Ibrahim Abid are back down here. Um, but overall... Saudi Arabia is all messed up, or Saudi Arabia, Arabia is all messed up, uh, Middle East is kind of crazy, yeah, uh, Byzantines are out of control, I mean, they're super stable, man, uh, normally you see every, like, ten years the Byzantines are in a succession crisis, or independence war, or lower crown authority, or blah 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 blah, but he's been puppet, Ugh. let's see, his son is, I thought they had primogenitor, they do, but somehow this, uh, this son is, oh, he must have been, let's see, is he, I bet you he's born in, born in the purple. Yep, he's born in the purple, so he's, uh, heir to the throne. Uh, let's try to go, yeah, so they're, you know, if he doesn't kill himself with the depression, they might be alright. Uh, Denmark has taken over Norway, for the most part. Uh, Sweden's collapsed, it looks like, uh, because there's a boy king, like a two-year-old. Yeah, so he's at war with everybody. England's about to fall, which whatever, I don't even care. This guy, as long as this guy's not Norse religion, yeah, I don't care. Alright, um, we're technically at war with Brittany still. That war needs to end. I might just try to assassinate that guy, I've got the money. Anyway, we'll see you next time, guys. Adios.